I would be prepared for those rain chances. I wish I had better news. I do too, and it's because of that forecast that several communities really have been rethinking their trick-or-treat plans this year. So far, Hope, North Vernon, Elwood, Logansport, and Morgantown all have moved their hours. Also on that list happens to be Lawrence here in Marion County. Mary Mills has the response that that decision is getting and why others are glad that this is a decision they didn't have to make. That's right, and the Thalen Leadership Academy here on North Illinois is among that latter group. They are hosting a trunk or treat event with IMPD tonight starting at 5.30. Now, it's always been planned for tonight, but it's a different case in Lawrence where trick-or-treating was moved up after they basically got spooked by the forecast, and it's fair to say a number of people are not happy. Joe Davenport's front yard is full of tombstones and spiders. Davenport loves Halloween, but was a bit surprised when told this year it's a day early, at least in Lawrence. Well, no, I didn't know it until you said something. So I guess I'm going to have to stay home tonight and hand out candy. Given the forecast, heavy rain on the horizon, Lawrence Mayor Steve Collier announced Monday night that trick-or-treating would be held tonight, not on Halloween, for safety reasons dark and rainy and so on, visibility is lower and so on, kids running around, they can't see out of their, you know, they can't see out of their masks. Still, the city's Facebook page lit up like a pumpkin with not cool at all. Halloween has always been a rain or shine event. And what other holidays should we delay for weather? Too hot for July 4th? Plus, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. A few posts were positive, including, thank you, I'm glad it's been changed. The same for Nicole Sibbing, a mother of two. I'm perfectly okay with it. I'm with the weather changing and kids getting sick all the way, all, all, always all the time anyway. With the rain, I'd rather it be on a day where it's not supposed to be as bad. Back at Davenport's haunted house. It's kind of bad because it's not really Halloween, but at the same time, the kids will have more fun out trick-or-treating, and, uh, and I probably will end up with some tomorrow and tonight bulls. As for the mayor, he says it all comes down to keeping kids safe. It wasn't a tough decision for me to make. Uh, if people are upset, that's part of the job, you know, that's what happens. And he says there is nothing keeping people from trick-or-treating tomorrow night in Lawrence. It's just not the designated night, and in this case, uh, the designated night is tonight, meaning there are more officers out and about. Back here to the Phelan Leadership Academy, again, free and open to the public. They have beautiful weather, and they've got lots of candy and things going on until 7.30. And All right, you have time to snag yourself a Snickers bar then, Mary. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, bring one back for me, too. All right, well, if you'd like to check out the trick-or-treat times in your community, this list makes it easy for you to figure out the times for your area. We have it posted for you online at WTHR.com.